Have you ever been stressed about things you know you can't control? Whether it's an event that took place in the past or one that's going to take place in the future? My name is Tom Gimbaro, and I believe that it's important to strive to live in the moment. The thing we sometimes fail to realize about worry is that dwelling on the past or future affects our present. For instance, we can become so preoccupied with a disappointing score on a test that it affects our performance on the next one. By the same token, we could be completely preoccupied with thinking about an upcoming game that we don't do well at school or practice during the week. If we don't find a way to manage these worries, our problems can compound, snowballing into a very messy situation. Wise words once said by the Buddhist monk Thich Nhat Hanh are that life is available only in the present. That is why we should walk in such a way that every step can bring us to the here and the now. At age 14, I believe this statement with my whole heart, but it took me a long time to understand. At times in my life, I have worried about events that are far beyond my control. For instance, in school, I used to worry a lot in anticipation of important tests. This worry about doing well in school was so extreme that it would affect other parts of my life, like simply enjoying extracurricular activities and time with my friends. In addition, I would stress about upcoming games, tryouts, and generally doing well in athletics. This would affect my schoolwork and my personal relationships. During this time, I also thought entirely too much of what people would think of me as a person. Finally, as I learned more about the world, events, and issues, I became overwhelmed by just how many people live with poverty, hunger, wars, and violence. This kind of worry characterized my elementary school years, and it became the most severe in my last year there. I felt extra pressure to do well in fifth grade. I was busy playing several sports, including football and basketball, and facing the reality that soon I would no longer go to school with the majority of my longtime friends. It was the perfect storm of worry and overall consternation. I was constantly thinking about school. I was always stressed about upcoming tests and projects. Worry consumed all aspects of my life. If it wasn't a future assignment, it was a mistake that I had thought I made in the past. Most of you have only known me for a little more than a year because I started here in seventh grade, and so this picture of myself might surprise you. These days, I tend to worry less about academic success, but back then, I was dealing with a lot of painful emotions. The worry was a symptom of something deeper, grief. When I was eight, my mom died after a lengthy battle with cancer. As one might imagine, this was a tough, tumultuous situation that I faced and continued to deal with. I was just a second grader, scared and confused, and all those heavy emotions really changed me. It took me a long time to accept and then to work through those feelings. They often felt overwhelming to my little second grade self, and during this time, it felt better to block out emotions rather than to suffer through them. Over time, I gained perspective on everything that happened with my mom and my family. She was sick for a large portion of my childhood, though not all of it. I remember her suffering and being uncomfortable, of course, but I also remember the good times with her when she was well. <clears throat> when I visited those happy memories, such as snuggling together on the couch while she read a Curious George story, I began to realize a valuable lesson about living in the moment. You see, my mom could do very little about her future and yet had no regrets about the past. She lived her life to the fullest and she made sure to let me and my dad know how much she loved us so we would never have to wonder about that. It didn't happen right away, but eventually I learned from these memories to enjoy the time I had and not to worry about what might happen next or what had happened already. Now I try to just live in the moment, stay, to stay positive and not let events I can't control get in the way of my everyday life. For example, when I find that I make mistakes in school, sports, or social interactions, I try to fix them, and beyond that, I don't dwell on them because I know that worrying won't help me accomplish a task at hand and will only get in the way of me accomplishing my goals. In the scripture passage that Asha read for us today, Jesus implores us not to worry about our lives and points out that even though the birds of the air do not spend time gathering large amounts of food, God takes care of them anyway. He also mentions that worrying will not help you to have a better life, or for that matter, a longer life. I believe that God takes care of us no matter what, and that he took care of me during that time and is still taking care of all of us, including my mom and me. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to volunteer at the Veterans Medical Center in San Francisco. Unfortunately, many of the men and women that come there for health care are poor and some are even homeless. Some of them had been seriously hurt while serving in our country's wars. 
Others had a significant mental illness and struggled to keep themselves healthy. One thing that struck me was that in spite of their challenges, they were all survivors in some way. They made it through perilous situations during war, only to find more struggles back here at home. As I got to know them, I was impressed that many of them were able to find happiness in spite of the challenges that they faced and continue to face. It's easy to imagine that God taking care of us means that we won't suffer, get sick, or die. But that's not true at all. When we focus on living in the present moment, we realize that every single second is a gift given in love. We find joy in being alive, in living in loving and being loved, no matter what tragedies are behind or ahead of us. We know that we are never alone. When I was working with the veterans who had fought and suffered in war, then came home to more difficult situations, I finally understood the lessons my mom's life had been teaching me all along. God has taken care of all of us, all the time, the soldiers, my mom, my family, and all of us here today. As I continue on my eighth grade year, all of the usual topics of worry have come up. A few of these include high school, exams, athletics, and friends. And try and put these into perspective because they're important, but quite literally, not a matter of life and death. Holding true to this belief of living in the present can pave way to a blissful life. Thank you.